If you're like me, you'll probably agree that every activity is made better by having a dog there. Yes, I might leave my Mastiffs at home in their roles as home protectors, but you'd better believe that if there's a road trip, Uncle Sully here is coming along for the ride. Now, most dogs can come most places with good planning, but there are definitely breeds who are going to be able to get along better in a wider range of environments. So today's video is about the breeds that you can really take with you anywhere. Unfortunately, it's not just a case of slipping the lead on your dog and opening the boot of your car. There are three pretty important criteria for go anywhere dogs. Number one, they need to be bomb-proof, by which I mean unfazed by crowds, cars, loud noises, other dogs and animals, and steady around distracting smells. Number two, you're going to be better off with a well-known angel dog than a devil dog, because unfortunately, reputation matters when hosts are deciding on giving you access or not. And then number three, they should be of a pretty manageable size and noise level when thinking of potentially confined spaces. So which breeds really do make the cut? Well, let's start small with the most welcome dogs in the toy breed category. In this category, you're spoiled for choice because small dogs are welcome in a lot more places than the large breeds are. If heat isn't a problem, then you're safe with a friendly, universal, beloved pug or French bulldog. Just come to terms with the fact that you will be swarmed with strangers wanting to meet your dog. A slightly lesser known breed who is also small, confident and quiet is the Bolognese. Despite its lack of reputation, its similarity in appearance to the more popular Maltese and Bichon Frise will have hosts, guests and passers-by fawning in no time. All three of these happy little companions would love to join you on your adventures, as long as there's not too much walking for them to do. In this category, you knew I was going to include the favourite of mine when it comes to small dogs, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Even if only as an afterthought, because they're such perfect little dogs in so many other ways. Now, if you have a little more space at your disposal, then a medium-sized dog might be acceptable and still remain manageable. Perhaps you're going to your kids' sports fixtures or just off to the beach. You can't go wrong with the global favourites, the Labrador Retriever and the Golden Retriever. I'll never stop banging on about them because they are two of the most beloved dogs around the globe for good reason. If you want them to be fully integrated into social situations though, just make sure that you're going for a pet bred show line retriever, otherwise your dog will arrive at the match or at the beach and they might be a little bit higher drive than you were expecting and those seagulls might pay the price. And just to keep your options open and go past my apparent bias, and if you're looking for something slightly on the mellower end, you also can't go wrong with a well socialised whippet. Finally, in the largest size category of dog I think you'll get away with taking with you anywhere, we have the large breeds. Now, spoiler, I'm not recommending any giant breeds in this video because places that will accept visits from giant breeds are just much more limited. Believe me, I have two of them. So whilst the new fee can go to lots of places and tick lots of the other boxes, I'm just going to put them on the bench for now and you can make your own inquiries about bringing such a giant breed would work for you in your area. Now, the largest dog on my my list today is going to be the Bernese Mountain Dog. This shaggy, gentle, stable, loving dog will be a hit out in public and will take all of the adoring stares and ruffles on the chest in its stride. If you want a slightly less outgoing dog to draw less attention, then you can't go wrong with the wonderfully gentle Greyhound, assuming it's been well socialized to the potentially overwhelming public place that you're taking it to. It's a little taller, but a fair bit lighter when taking size into account.